Have you ever wondered how a machine learns to tell a cat from a dog? Or how a language model knows how to write a poem? It feels like magic, but at its core is a powerful mathematical concept. That concept is the engine of modern AI, and it is called gradient descent. Welcome to Blackboard AI. Today, we are going to break down this fundamental algorithm, step by step, right here on the Blackboard. Before we get into the how, let's understand the what. The goal of training any AI model is simple, to minimize its error. We want the model's predictions to be as close to the real answers as possible. Imagine a graph where the horizontal axis represents a setting in our model, and the vertical axis represents how much error our model has with that setting. This curve is our cost function. Our goal is to find the parameter w that gives us the lowest possible cost. In other words, we need to find the bottom of this valley. The question is, if we start somewhere on this curve, how do we know which way to go to get to the bottom? Let's use an analogy. Imagine you are a hiker, standing on the side of a mountain in thick fog. You cannot see the valley, but you want to get to the lowest point, what do you do? You would probably feel the ground beneath your feet. You would check the steepness, or the slope, of the ground where you are standing. Then, you would take a small step in the steepest downhill direction. You would repeat this process, check the slope, take a step downhill, check the slope, take another step. Eventually, step by step, you would find yourself at the bottom of the valley. This is exactly what gradient descent does. It is a step-by-step -step process to find the minimum of a function. Now, let's translate our hiking analogy into math. In calculus, the tool for finding the slope of a curve at any point is the derivative. The derivative, or the gradient, tells us two things, the steepness of the slope and its direction, uphill or downhill. A positive gradient means the slope is pointing uphill. A negative gradient means it is pointing downhill. Crucially, the gradient always points in the direction of the steepest ascent. But we want to go downhill, to the valley, so we do something very simple. We take the gradient and we move in the opposite direction. So we know the direction, but how big of a step should we take? This is controlled by a parameter we choose, called the learning rate. The learning rate is a small number, like 0.01, it determines the size of our step. If it is too small, our hiker will take forever to reach the valley. If it is too big, our hiker might overshoot the valley and end up on the other side, or even go further uphill. A good learning rate takes confident, well-paced steps to the bottom. Putting it all together gives us the gradient descent update rule. It looks like this. Let's break it down. Our new parameter position is equal to our old position minus our step size, alpha, multiplied by the gradient, we use minus because the gradient points uphill and we want to go downhill. So, how does this apply to a giant AI model? Well, instead of one parameter W, a neural network has millions of them, all the weights and biases in the network. And our cost function is not a simple 2D curve. It is an incredibly complex, high-dimensional landscape with millions of dimensions, but the principle is the same. The training process works like this, over and over first, the network makes a prediction. Then, we see how wrong the prediction was. This is the magic. We use calculus to efficiently calculate the gradient for every single one of the millions of parameters in the network. We use our gradient descent rule to take a tiny step downhill for all parameters, nudging them in a direction that will lower the error. By repeating this loop thousands or millions of times with our training data, the model slowly descends the cost landscape, becoming more and more accurate. Finally, there are three main flavors of gradient descent used in practice. Batch gradient descent calculates the gradient using the entire data set. It is accurate but incredibly slow for big data. Stochastic gradient descent 
calculates the gradient using just one random data sample at a time. It is fast, but the path is very noisy. Mini-batch gradient descent is the best of both worlds. It uses a small batch of data, like 32 or 64 samples, and is the standard for modern deep learning. This animation shows a smooth path, a noisy path, and a balanced path to the goal. So let's recap. Gradient descent is an optimization algorithm that finds the minimum of a function. Its goal is to minimize a cost function, which means reducing error. Its tool is the gradient, which is the direction of steepest ascent. Its action is to take steps in the opposite direction of the gradient. And its control is the learning rate, which is the size of the step. It is not magic. It is an elegant, iterative process of making small adjustments, guided by mathematics, to make AI models learn. If this explanation helped you understand gradient descent, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to Blackboard AI for more deep dives into the concepts behind artificial intelligence.